briefly about fishing. A few thousand years ago, God saw the work ethic of the Jewish people was such that they needed to learn how to rest. So he gave them a commandment to take one day off a week. They had just come from a very driven lifestyle and were used to working without rest. We as modern Christians are not subject to the same commandment, but it's still a great idea. We need to learn to rest and take time from our work to let our minds and bodies recharge. Apparently God has a bit of knowledge when it comes to what makes us tick. People can work long hours for days straight, but it doesn't take long before they become burned out. There are very few jobs that are so enjoyable that you never tire from working nonstop. We see examples of rest around us. The two closest role models are right in our homes with us. We only need to take a look at our pets, the domesticated house cat and our pet dogs to see rest in action. Once we have adopted a pet, we take the responsibility to feed them. So a big part of their day is now free. House cats take full advantage of this and sleep almost the entire day, waking only to eat and a few other necessities. I would think only a couple animals in the world expend less energy than a cat. Those might be a, the sloth and the giant tortoises. I have seen cats that were nothing more than a stuffed pillow that would wake long enough to eat and then resume their sleep in the warmth of the sun coming through the window. Dogs, on the other hand, sleep out of boredom usually boredom with their owners. The dogs have a way of sleeping and still knowing what goes on. The dog may seem to be resting, but if you move, the dog's mind springs into action. Are we going for a walk? Does he have the leash? Did he pick up the ball? Does he have my squeaky toy? Is he going to feed me? What are we doing? Somewhere in the middle of the cat and the dog is a good example of rest for us humans. Now rest can be different for each person, some need to just stop and rest while others can do something energetic and still seem to rest. My father enjoyed fishing. He may have been a consummate fisherman. He didn't have the latest fishing boat or gear, but he had a desire to fish. Something that I did not share as a younger person. Oh, I tried to enjoy fishing as a child, but it was not relaxing for me. I did have the quality poles and bait that my father used but he seemed to be much better and enjoyed it a lot more than I did. Now there were fishing trips that I did enjoy to the coast or other locations where fishing or catching was good we were, and we were very active. But my father was certainly more like a dog with fishing and I was similar to a cat. There were times when I just enjoyed sitting under a shade tree, not really hoping to catch anything. The old saying about a bad day fishing is better than a good day at work well, most of the time. I can remember a couple of day, bad days fishing that were not that great. And I've had a few good days at work that outshine my fishing days, including one getting caught on the lake in a fairly strong storm. Overall, fishing was just, a, just wasn't a way for me to relax. As I got into my teenage years, I was lured away with the strongest odors of a young man's life, gasoline and perfume. Fishing never stood a chance. Now, as I learn a bit more of life lessons, I look back and think about how a simple cane pole under a shade tree next to some quiet water. It sounds so much more restful now. I've taken to heart the idea of rest. Once a week and at times an extended period throughout the year, it does wonders for clearing the mind. Some days I feel like a cat, just wanting to rest undisturbed, but other days I wanna grab my squeaky toy and run around the yard. Either way, my mind can rest and take a break from the daily thoughts. This is what was always been intended, a time of rest and relaxation, a break from the tasks of life, a way to recharge our bodies. It seems a lot simpler if we choose our, this ourselves and is not a requirement. I might move my chair in front of the window so I can sleep at the sun. That seems to be like a peaceful and comfortable spot to spend a Sunday afternoon. 